Hello everyone, my name is Christian from Global Reach and today we're talking about user segments or just segments in Google Analytics 4. So segments in GA4 can be pretty helpful and pretty um, capable if you have the need for them. So what are segments? Segments are basically groups of customers or groups of users that fit a particular criteria. And what you want to do with segments is you want to use segments and compare them to one another or compare them to the rest of your users. So let's talk about how to actually use um, segments and put them in action. Um, the most simplest way to do it or the easiest way to do it in GA4 is to go to the custom report section and create a free form report. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, to, to go to your custom report section, you want to go down here to the explore page or the explore section you want to go, um, you can, I just like the free form report, but what Google does is it puts in a bunch of, of default information in there that you may not want. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a blank free form report over here. What we have here is we have three sections down here that are completely blank because we need to import stuff into it. And then once we've, we've imported some, some stuff in here, we can import it and um, plug and play in here and actually create our report. So let's talk about segments. So segments are going to be created in here. So like I said earlier, segments are going to be users that fit a particular criteria. So make sure that before you create a segments, you know exactly what type of segments you want to make and you know exactly what variable names you're trying to capture. So let's go to segments here and click on plus. And we are going to create a user segment. User segments are going to be the most beneficial because you probably have the most data from user segments. So we're going to click on user segments and this is when we actually start defining our segment and naming our segment. So let's call this something like, um, you know, let's look at users from Europe. So let's call this the European user segment or just European users. So what you want to do is you want to filter this down by Europe, right? So Google Analytics has a metric or a dimension called continent. So I'm going to type in continent. And I'm going to add a filter to that, and I'm, I, I'm going to make sure that continent contains Europe. Notice how I'm not saying exactly matches. I just prefer using contains just in case um, Google formats things a little bit differently. Maybe something to do with a lowercase e or an uppercase e. We don't want any sort of um, confusion there. So contains is always a good bet. So I'm going to click apply here. And now this now creates our European segment. So I'm going to save this and apply it. And I'm going to create another segment down here and I'm going to call this user segment again. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to compare two different types of continents. I'm going to do continent. And we're going to add a filter and we are going to ma make this one, we're going, to, we're going to call it Oceania. And we're going to apply this one and, we're and we are going to call it the Oceania users. And we're going to save and apply this. And now we have our two users in here. So now that we have our segments defined, let's go ahead and create a report. So to create a report, you need to import dimensions and metrics here. Just to briefly explain the difference, a dimension is going to be a category-based feature. So if it is um, a page title, it could be a city, it could be a country, things like those are dimensions. So I'm going to look at engagement rates by um, page titles. So I'm going to go to dimensions and I'm going to bring in uh, page title, select it and click import. And then down here, I want to look at engagement rates. So engagement rate is more value based, it's more numeric. So that, that will go under metrics. So I'm going to go to metrics and type in engagement. And we have over here, we have engagement rate. So I'm going to click on this and import it. So as you can see here, we have dimensions and metrics. I'm going to um, pull dimensions and bring it down to rows. Um, notice how I can bring it down to rows or columns. Just um, I'm, You can do either one. I'm going to do rows just because it's more intuitive for me, but do whatever works for you. You can follow the color codes over here. So you can see that green can go with green and green can go with green down here. And for metrics, metrics is coded blue. So metrics can only go down here into values. So I'm going to click on values and bring it in there. And this is now creating our uh, report. 
So what we have here is we have our report of our page title and our engagement rates, and we have it separated by our segments that we have created over here. If I didn't have any segments, it would just show me one rate, but now it's splitting into two. It's splitting into European users and, and, and users from Oceania. Um, you can do so much with this. You can make many different types of segments. It really depends on the questions that you are trying to ask and the questions that you are trying to figure out. So feel free to play around with this tool, but generally speaking, that is how you use custom segments in Google Analytics 4. So thanks a ton for watching, and feel free to watch any of the other tutorials on our YouTube or our website.